so tired of second guessing myself Had to reevaluate, you know, check on my health Cause 2020 was a mess in itself And all my plans went out the window in the flash I know you felt what I felt It's all a part of the process I was still in the gym, lost my passion Alright guys, we're on day 19 Just ran up the mountain, feeling great Super overcast today uh, It feels incredible in Vegas It's like, I want to say it's like 85 to 90 And it feels just beautiful The wind's blowing and myself, I know. I'm looking great. I feel great. I'll be real. It's a little cocky, but I don't care. <laughs> but uh, things are going good, man. We got a 702 karaoke tonight. It's a fun night. It's a cool little room, man. It reminds me of some of the spots in New York City where it's like very intimate. Um, so yeah, it's dope. Uh, excited to go do there, do that spot tonight, see some homies. Uh, man, the community's been super dope lately, man. It's uh, it's always been dope, but you know, sometimes it just gets weird at certain places uh, for me. Uh, but you know, everyone's been chill, man. It's been really cool. And, uh, we had a lot of fun last night. It was just, uh, you know, I, when I got that light last night at square bar, I thought it was Dennis taking the picture, but like, they're like, yo, you got one minute left. So I don't know if I explained this in the last video, but I was like, I'll just do it from my chair. And I just started doing my bit without the mic in the back and I got super aggressive. I was like, ah, and it was hilarious. Uh, I look crazy, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, man, it was a good night. I'm feeling really good, man. Just feeling prepared and going to go on that trip to L.A. It's going to be three to four days. I'm not sure if we can stay the whole week. Just got a lot going on with life, and then I got to get prepared. You know, I get my kid for the whole month of, uh, you know, July, so I got to make sure everything's ready to go. And I like to take a day or two to prep everything, get all his food ready. Everything's ready to go. All of his clothes laid out for the week. And... Uh, everything folded nicely and put away and just helps you know those little tiny things help a lot and lately i've been like forgetting things like i, I always pre-make my meals and i forgot my spoon two days in a row now so i have to wait till i get all the way home to eat my food it's like so frustrating uh but that's what happens when you're like grinding hard like little things like that you just forget but you got to remember that stuff because you could be forgetting that stuff on, on your set right so you gotta you gotta make sure you get all that together but anyway guys i'm, I'm about to uh, i'm rambling right now and the wind is picking up so i don't want to ruin this for you guys all right so have a good one let's grind and i'll see y'all later let's go all right guys we are heading to 702 karaoke this is the third time i'm attempting to make this video just somehow ran out of storage when i thought that uh, i had i'm in the icloud whatever it happens uh but yeah i'm just trying to figure it out uh this shit is brutal. What's up, guys? Hey, good set, bro. That was, that was funny. I, I do Muslim. I'm a Muslim, and I liked it. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got it, dude. I, I got it, bro. He had a good set. It was funny. But, yeah, so uh, this is a third attempt at this video. I'm very upset. <laughs> but, yes, we're going to 72 Karaoke. It's a beautiful day in Vegas. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's like 80 degrees. It's incredible. This plaza looks dope. They got a lot of good food here. They got a Tiger Belly truck, which is not Bobby Lee, I don't think, but who knows. But yeah, um, uh, 702 Karaoke is a pretty dope spot. Uh, they got uh, like these lounge chairs. Well, not no, they got like couches or whatever and um, super comfortable. It reminds me of a lot of the places in New York City where I did comedy uh, about a year ago at this time. And it's it's cool, man. It's, it's a tight little environment. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are here and uh, comics and just random people. Uh, I think they're waiting to do the karaoke in the back so you can rent like a booth out and do karaoke. I mean, that's kind of how karaoke works. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, we're going to head inside. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the inside. And uh, I'm really disappointed that I have to shoot this video three times and I had sweet interviews. <sighs> so over it, man. Video. Video life. Brutal. That's what happens. So if you have a vlogging camera, you can see yourself, not with an iPhone. So... But the iPhone is very, very convenient. Either way, I'll be inside. Let's go, let's go check out the inside. Boom. I'm on the sound, hoodie season, back around. No more summer bounce, little squeeze out, squeeze. See the indoors when we're falling down. Oversized jumper with our underwear out. I'm on the sound, hoodie season, back around. No more summer bounce, little squeeze out, squeeze. See the all right, guys, so we're actually, um, we're here at South Boy Casino. We're going to go watch The Dirty at 1230. It's one of the most, uh, one of the more iconic shows in Vegas. Uh, every Friday night at 1230, uh, The Dirty Birds, you know, The Dirty Show. This is Ralphie Mae's old workout room. This is 
where legends have been here. You know, Joey Diaz, Joe Rogan, I mean, Chris D'Elia, the list goes on and on and on. So uh, we're going to go and check out the show and uh, see who's performing. You never know who the headliner is. I mean, if you're a comic, you can ask around and you can kind of figure it out once you get in there. But yeah, or you'll see the person. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go have fun and uh, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we just finished up Finished up at South Point. It is 2.50 a.m. in the morning, and I am tired, but I am glad that I went, got to kick it with some of the homies. At South Point, it was fun. At the Dirty at 12.30, the, they changed the venue location. Usually, it's kind of like at the Grandview Bar at the South Point, but uh, they put it to the uh, showroom. And the showroom, man, it is pretty cool at South Point. So that, that it felt like a theater comedy club. Had a pretty cool, cool feel to it, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, it was a good time. Um, got to see Todd go up, Nick, and I forgot the headliner's name, but he killed. Uh, Nick absolutely crushed. So that was that was awesome to watch, man. And Todd did fucking great. Um yeah, man, just kicking it with the homies, and uh, I wasn't going to go, but I just, you know, my homies, yeah, he hasn't, one of my homies hasn't been, so I, I was like, oh, if I'm going to tell you to go, I, I might as well go, right? Like, that's, you can't be like, yeah, you should go, uh, we'll go tonight, and you should go tonight, and then he's like, well, I don't want to go by myself, you know, I can't do that to the guy, so I went too, and we had a good time, man, it was fun, and just kicking it and riffing off of, like, uh, each other and just talking about material, uh, you know, it, it was fun. Got to see Julio, got to see a bunch of people, man. It's, it's good. It's one of the better, best hangouts, honestly, in for comedy that I've been to. So, but yeah, guys, it's uh, been a long day. My set at karaoke was kind of weird, so I'm just still messing around, uh, trying to figure some stuff out, play with some things. And I've been doing this thing where I will do a joke at beginning I did it at Ocha I did a joke that I did like half of a joke and then I did a, a, a one of my sets one of my uh, five minute sets and then I just put in another and then I did another uh, set a five minute like a half of a five minute set and I combined the two and they're completely different and they're not even like generally uh, t like together but I just wanted to see if I could transition into it somehow and it didn't work great, but I just was, I don't know, just trying to figure out how to work on, I'm working on transitions, and my transitions kind of suck, but I don't know, anyway guys, um, thank you for watching the video, I appreciate you guys a lot, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, keep grinding, keep doing whatever you're doing, and uh, let's keep going, let's keep pushing the limits, thank you guys, love y'all, see ya, boom.